Alright, so this problem 13. Problem 13 pretty much says, if the integral from 1 to 6 of a function dx is equal to 10, and the integral from 3 to 6 of that same function is equal to 6, then what is the integral from 3 to 1 of 3 times that function equal to? Okay, so what we need to look at here is that we have the area between 1 to 6 of that function, and that's 10, and we have the area between 3 to 6, and that's 6. So, then if we know that, we also know that the area from 1 to 3 of f of x dx is then equal to this whole area minus the 3 to 6. Since if we subtract that, we'll just, we're left with 1 to 3. So then, that's going to be 1 to 6 f of x dx minus from 3 to 6 f of x dx. Okay, so that's this whole, inter this whole integral is 10, and this whole integral is 6. So we get 10 minus 6, and that's 4. Okay, so now, that we, now we have that the integral from 1 to 3 fx dx is, is equal to 4. Okay, very important. So we have that. We want to find, however, the integral from 3 to 1. So backwards, instead of going forward, you're going to go backwards. Now, what happens if you go backwards is you're still going to have the same area, but negative. So therefore, this then implies that the integral from 3 to 1 of f of x dx is going to be the same area of 4, but negative. So, negative 4. Okay, so now we have this. And now we're almost done, because now, now we have from 3 to 1 of f of x dx. This 3 can be brought outside. So this implies that 3 times the integral from 3 to 1 fx dx is equal to 3 times this whole thing right here is negative 4. And that's just 3 times negative 4 and negative 12. So the answer is negative 12. Again, we know the area from 1 to 6 is 10. And we know the area from 3 to 6 is 6. So we want to find, if we want to find the area from 1 to 3, just subtract this one by this one, and we'll get 4. So then we have the area from 1 to 3 is 4. Now, if we go, if you switch from 1 to 3 and you put it backwards from 3 to 1, that means you're going backwards, then you have the same 4, but it's going to be negative. Once you have that, multiply it by 3, because there's a constant 3, the 3 can be brought outside, and you'll get 3 times 4 is negative 12. That's it.